thought about it a lot and I think that doing this is so much more important to me than my immediate comfort. First IPCC report came out in 1990. Since then emissions have gone up by 60%. I want to live in a society where people are connected to each other and to the environment around us, where we think about the impacts that we're having not only on like future generations and our duty and responsibility of care to them, but our responsibility of care to the planet. I'm going to be hanging up a bipod, um, which is a structure made out of um, two poles that we tied off across a rail bridge and blocking all coal trains from entering or exiting the coal port. I'm live in Aberdeen Dock. In Nam, otherwise known as Melbourne, it's a major economic pinch point of a system we call Australia. I'm here blocking the road from the port. I'm at the top of a monopole, which is tensioned down with three ropes, blocking four lanes of traffic. So there's three actions happening around so-called Australia. Australia is more than willing to tell bold-faced lies to manipulate numbers and to break agreements so that they can continue this exploitation. Blockade Australia is a organising tool and this banner that we can unite under and use our collective power for change. One person making morally guided consuming decisions holds no power to stop the system or to change it. But one person organising collectively can shut down the flow of goods from entire port. Hope lies in a culture of resistance. Turning their guns on the same people that feed them. It's like nowadays they don't even need a reason.